Hey there, it's Ben Housel here, and here in this tutorial, we're going to be having a look at the splits plugin from Brett FX. Now, this plugin allows you to create a whole range of different split screen designs for your music videos, for your Zoom conversations, and for other different split screen montages that you might be doing. It's got some really nice features in it for reframing your videos and for adding borders for the videos, and also a lot of different configurations for the split screens. So we're gonna jump into a blank timeline here. Now if you've downloaded and installed the splits plugin from Brett FX, then you'll find it in your effects panel and under Brett FX splits. And what you'll see when you scroll through here is that we have a really nicely organized plugin where you can kind of see how many splits you want in your split screen and also the different configurations, whether you want something diagonal, whether you want something more kind of standard two by two split screen, um, or whether you want one of these really cool kind of brick-like effects that you can see down at the bottom here. So we're gonna dive in and have a look at a couple of these just to kind of look at the basic setup. So we're gonna have a look at some of these diagonal uh, split screens up at the top and just kind of get a feel for, for how they work. So I'm gonna jump into some of my videos up here. Now all of the videos that I'm working with here initially are 1920 by 1080 and my timeline is set up the same. So we're gonna drag a couple of these clips down to the timeline and we will just set this up with a few different clips. So I'm gonna hold down Shift and Tap Z just to kind of zoom into my timeline a little bit and I'm gonna trim these all down to the same length just by dragging these. And we can use Alt and the right square bracket to trim these down, or we can just drag them down like that. So we'll do Shift and Z again, just so we can kind of see the whole timeline. And basically to add any one of the splits plugins, super easy, just drag it straight onto your timeline. And what you'll notice as soon as you've kind of dragged it onto your timeline is that we have this really nice on-screen controller for reframing our video. We can enlarge our video or make it smaller if we want to and just kind of get that in the, the right spot. And then also we have some other options up here in the inspector. If you don't see your inspector up on the top right, just go to window, show in workspace and select the inspector. And that will give you these split options up here. So you can see we have options for the position of the preset. So we can choose whether it's on that left or right hand side of the split just by dragging the slider. We can also choose whether we want animation in or out. So you can see there's no animation at the moment, but if we turn that on, we'll have a little fade in there. And we've got some other different options for sliding in and zooming in. So we'll slide right. You can see that's gonna slide in nicely. And then to add the other side of that split screen, we can just choose the same plugin, drag it on, and then you'll see that this layer below has now disappeared. And that's basically because we're still in position preset one. So we just need to drag that to the right and now it's positioning that clip over to the, the right hand side of that layout. So you can see really quickly, without any problems, we've kind of set up a really nice split screen. We'll animate this in as a slide left. So they kind of join together. Or we could offset them a little bit. And we'll just drag this back. We also have in here some scale options so we can change the size of our split screen. We'll just reset that using the little hooked arrow so it's back at the default. We can rotate our split screen uh, within here. We can change the location of that split so we can kind of make it a bit bigger or a bit smaller depending on what we want. So we've got some nice control there. Again, we'll just reset those. And then if we scroll down, we can modify the source. Now this is doing some of the same work we're doing with the on-screen controller where we can reframe where that particular piece of the video is. And we can also increase or decrease the size there. We have a tint color option here as well. So we can change the default color and then increase the tint. And then lastly, we have a border down the bottom. So we can click here, select a color for our border and then play around with the width as we want to. So if we come down to the next layer down, you can see again, we can add a tint to this. Increase the tint amount. And then also add and modify the border color. So let's just change the tint color here. One other thing we can do with the splits plugin as well is we can kind of do a bit of a mix and matching of our different splits. So if we 
take this bottom split, I'm going to delete the effect in the inspector here. So just highlight it so it's outlined yellow and then delete it from the inspector. We've taken that split off. If we change this to the split to horizontal, you can see we're actually adding the split up here now. So I'm going to reframe the video across the right. And for this bottom one, I'm going to add that same splits to horizontal. At the moment, it's in that top section, so I just need to slide it down. And so now you can see we get this nice kind of mix and match of those two different split screens. And I'm going to take the animation off on that top split. And actually, we'll change the border color here as well. and we'll change the border color for these two too. So you can see those on-screen controllers really give us a nice level of control of how we're reframing our video, being able to rescale it really nice and easily as we select those different layered clips. And we can get everything in just the right spot. Now we can do some classic split screens in here as well. Splits has this functionality. So if we just grab four clips down to the timeline here, if we actually highlight all of these, and you can do this with any plugin, we can scroll down to our two by two split screen. If we double click, it's gonna put everything up in that top left corner. And I'll just go through these one at a time. So we'll just move this to the right using the slider. And you can see really easily we can position all four of those clips. And again, we have the source options here. We can turn on a border here as well for these different uh, clips. And then if we just trim these down, so I'm just going to use Alt on the right square bracket to trim all those down, we can really easily set up a perfect split screen. Now, just one last thing we'll do with this particular section is if we select each of these, and we're just gonna animate each of these in from a different direction. So we'll slide this top right clip into the left. We'll grab this bottom left clip, and we'll slide that up. We'll grab this bottom right clip, and we'll Actually, we'll slide this one up and we'll slide this one in to the right. And then this top one will animate in coming down. So now you'll see we'll get those really nicely kind of flowing in together. Or we can concertina them in. So we'll just quickly offset those. So again, really nice, easy functionality with this plugin. So let's have a look at one other option for the splits plugins. And you can see as we kind of scroll down, we have a lot of nice different options um, here, all controlled by that really easy to manage kind of slider option. So I'm gonna drag some more clips down to the timeline quickly. So one thing I have done here is I've zoomed out of my layers here. Now you can do that by zooming the height of your layers here, and that just means that when I stack things up, it's gonna enable me to see more of the layers as I stack them up. So on the timeline, Shift, Command, and Plus, or Minus, will allow you to zoom in and zoom out of your layers. We'll just drag these down here quickly, and we need 10 layers. So we're gonna use these seven. And three of these. I'm just going to trim these down again. So Alt on the right square bracket. It's going to allow me to quickly trim those down. And then again, we can select all of these. And we're going to come down to the splits masonry 10 with the gap and double click on that. And it's going to initially put all of these up at the top left. So again, we're going to go through these one at a time and just move them just move my playhead over these. 
one position at a time. And you can see just by selecting those different layers, we're able to really easily move them into the right position. So you can see it moving through those different spots and then into the new spot. So super, super easy to use. Okay. So you can see all really nicely set up. We can again come into these and pick out any one of these clips and adjust them. Now, if you're not sure which layer is you're adjusting, it's not clear from the thumbnail, then just highlight one of the layers and tap the V key and that will turn that layer on and off. So I can be sure now that I'm modifying the boat. And I'm just gonna reframe this a little bit in there so we get a bit more boat in that image. Because we're making it much smaller, we've got a bit of scope to increase the size without losing any quality. And we'll choose this image too. And we're just gonna reframe this a little bit to the left. Now one other nice thing about having these as effects rather than as a drop zone is that if we want to reposition our clip within that location, this can be useful for syncing up music tracks and that kind of thing, we can grab the trim tool and then we can trim that clip within that area. So you can see I'm changing where that clip falls within there. So I might want her, the camera to be just come up to the eye rather than right down. So we can drag that back to this spot. And now you can see the camera moves up to the eye a bit quicker at the beginning of this clip. And then for this water slide clip, we'll just move back to the select tool. Just gonna make sure I've got the right one selected. That's the one right at the bottom. And we can zoom right in on this actually the fun bit of this water slide is really just the exit here and then that slide section so you can see someone coming out sliding up we'll slide it a little bit more to the left so we get them in that video coming down going up and then sliding back down that does look like a fun water slide and again we can modify these as well so at the beginning of this top right clip you can see the drone shot is not moving i want to actually get that drone shot moving right at the beginning of that clip so i'm going to come back to my trim tool and with the trim tool when i click here and drag back i'm moving that frame from this point in the playhead back to the beginning of my clip so now if you look at the top right there that drone shot is moving straight away as soon as we kind of bring that clip up and let's have a look at that other drone shot as well. So yeah, you can see we've got a bit of static drone there. So if I highlight this clip, just tapping the V key, then we can play through to where we see the drone moving. That's nice. And then we'll grab the trim tool, move this point back to the beginning. And obviously with all these layers, if we come back to our select tool, we can select these and we can pick out some of these to add a bit of a tint to. So maybe we'll just alternate the tint. So we've got some as full color and some as a tint. Obviously we're just keeping the same tint color there, but you kind of get the idea with this nice brick-like effect. We get a nice bit of alternation between those different colors. So you can see here that the Splits plugin has a really nice level of detailed control in it. And it's gonna be really useful when you wanna get that positioning and timing control over your split screens. It keeps all the timeline controls for syncing up sound and everything like that intact, which is super, super handy for editing together Zoom calls or for editing together music videos. And hopefully this kind of overview of the Splits plugin has been useful for you. If you do have any questions about it, then leave a comment below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.